This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. So, something really simple. We do um, dig blocks all the time. We, we all remember the conventional um, wisdom of not using epinephrine with lidocaine or bupivacaine in, in arterial fields like fingers, nose, ears, all those kind of things. And I think we've all probably heard that it probably is not a real concern with the studies that they've done that show that it actually doesn't cause significant complications using epinephrine and fingers. But most of us still out of convention still use regular bupivacaine or lidocaine when we do our ditch blocks or our, or our anesthesia to fingers, nose, other areas like that. Um, but what if actually it's uh, beneficial to use epinephrine in these areas? So um, they've done studies and uh, uh, there was a prospective double blind study using 60 patients um, looking at finger injuries where they did dig blocks with lidocaine with epinephrine, 30 patients in each group. It was either lidocaine with epi or plain lido. And then they looked at the groups as a whole. So first of all, out of the 60 patients, zero complications. So nobody had any problems with epinephrine. Nobody had any problems otherwise. But they also looked at um, uh, things that would make it easier or uh, allow you to have a, um, a, 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 a better experience while you're, while you're repairing the finger. So out of the 30 patients that got plain Lido, um, I think the number was um, uh, 30 patients. I think seven of them needed extra, needed another dose of anesthesia to try to get them to have adequate anesthesia to their fingers. So they needed another injection. Whereas in the um, group with epinephrine, only one did. Um, They also looked at the bleeding field, like use of a tourniquet. Um, 30 patients, uh, the people where they use the epinephrine for the dig block, um, nine of them needed a tourniquet to get an adequately clean field to be able to suture in. Whereas in the 30 patients that didn't get epinephrine, 20 of them, so basically one third to two thirds. So a pretty big difference. Things that would save time that would allow you to get a a better evaluation of tendons and the wounds in general. And then if you just look at the the literature in a whole, um, you know, they've done uh, literature reviews looking at, I think there was one where they looked at 12 different prospective studies, over 3,000 patients getting epinephrine uh, in digits, zero complications. They've looked at hand surgery, uh, hand surgeons. uh, They looked at a a series of studies that showed 3,100 patients getting epinephrine in hand cases zero complications, zero need for use for phentalamine. Um, uh, We know that podiatrists use it in feet. Uh, How about even the worst case scenario, an accidental injection of, uh, say, uh, an epi auto injector into your finger. Um, uh, Case reports, they did a a series of case reports looking at 28 uh, cases where somebody accidentally injected their um, epi pen into their digit zero ischemic complications. So there's really no doubt that it's safe, and we've known that for a while, but it actually may be beneficial, so it may be something that we need to do to change our practice. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.